An investment in fallow and summer weed control is paying dividends with improved crop quality and increased yields for Kelleberran grain grower Scott Dixon. Mr Dixon has been hosting a series of trials aimed at determining the most cost-effective time for summer spraying for farmers on the eastern wheat belt, as well as the impact of summer grasses on subsequent crops in relation to soil moisture, yield and nitrogen. I think we all know that if we can control our summer weeds when we have that high summer rain and we have good water soil profiles and we can keep our water bucket full-ish, then we get a yield response. But the yield response has to pay for the one or two spraying operations that, that you, have, you have to do to, to achieve that cleanliness. Mr Dixon is one of a number of farmers involved in the Kelleberran Demonstration Group, which is hosting the trials with the support of the Grains Research and Development Corporation. The trials are being run alongside full season fallow paddocks, which are also being measured to determine longer term benefits to weed control and crop quality. But we're finding that we can clean the weeds up and then get three to five years of good cropping with low chemical inputs and good quality grain without too much contamination. Uh, and that's probably the, the key to it, is that we get, we're bringing the level of our grain quality up as well as controlling our problem weeds. If it was feed grade and destined for the dairy or the livestock industry and we had a lot of radish in it, basically it was unsaleable unless we graded it. So we've reduced the burden of seed in our sample and it can go straight through to the end user. Mr Dixon and wife Anne farm a 5,500 hectare aggregation, cropping a rotation comprising wheat, barley, triticale, canola, lupins and chickpeas. Annual rainfall is 330 millimetres on average, with about 200 falling in the growing season, when ryegrass, brome grass and wild radish are the main weeds. The remainder falls in summer, germinating Afghan melon, caltrop, windmill grass, kerosene grass and roly-poly. Mr Dixon has tested for herbicide resistance and although none has been detected, the threat of it is a motivating factor for his involvement in the trial work. In the back of our minds, uh, you know, we're, we're only one step away from resistance if our problem gets out of hand. And it's basically jumping in before it gets out of hand that we can still manage it with the group chemicals that we have available. And the other thing, it is the soil moisture and it is working out what we can grow after it to, to get our best gross margin to cover the costs of, of having a year out with fallow, which at the end of the day is quite considerable.